Most standard 16-ounce hammers are approximately 13 inches long. They make good measuring sticks. Simply place your hammer on the floor, set your electrical outlet box on top of the hammer, and nail in. You will find that once you lay your hardwood floors, carpet, or tile, that your electrical outlet box will be approximately 12 inches above your finished floor. Outlet boxes have punch outs. Take a screwdriver and hammer and punch one out. Next, pull your 14-2 electrical wire through your floor into the back of your electrical outlet box. As you pull it through, make sure you leave plenty of wire on the front end. Seven to eight inches is more than enough. Depending on the area that you live in, your local building codes could require you to install a staple within 12 inches of your electrical outlet box. Seen here is a four inch installation. Use your utility knife to score a line down the sheathing of your electrical wire. Take time to make sure that you do not cut into the black or white wire located below the sheathing. Once you have scored your line, pull back the sheathing to the point of incision. Make sure you get the paper wrapping off as well. Take your utility knife and cut off the extra. You will need at least six inches of wire from the point of incision left over for your continual installation. Use your wire strippers to line up the wire within the 14 gauge cutter and pull. This will allow you to strip off the tip. Do the same for your black wire as well. Fold your wire back into the box and shove it in. You're ready to move on to the next stage. You can return to your electrical work once your insulation and sheetrock has been installed. Pull out your electrical wires, use a pair of needle nose pliers and make a 180 degree loop. Do that for your black, your white, and your bare copper wire. A standard 15 amp plug has brass screws on one side silver on the other, and then down below a green screw. To begin our installation, we will loosen up a brass colored screw so that we may hook up a black wire to the brass screw. It's important to remember that the wire should loop around in the direction of the screw tightening. Make sure your connection is tight. Any loose wires can result in the wire overheating and causing electrical fires. On the opposite side, you will find the silver screw. Loosen the screw to a point where you can insert the white wire. Make sure that the loop of the white wire will travel around in the direction of the silver screw as it tightens. Tighten your silver screw down onto your white wire, making sure the connection is extremely tight and there is no loose connection. Remember, a loose connection can result in an electrical fire. Next, loosen your green screw and attach your ground wire to the green screw.
Make sure your ground loop travels in the direction of your screen screw as it tightens. Make a tight connection. Fold your wires back in a zigzag pattern so that you may slide your plug into the electrical outlet box. Remember, a 16 ounce hammer makes a good ruler for nailing up outlet boxes. Leave 6 inches of wire when stripping the sheathing. Staple wire less than 12 inches from the outlet box. Black wire goes to brass, white wire goes to silver, and bare copper ground wire goes to green screw. And finally, loops travel in the same direction as the screw tightens.